Hi everyone. I'm back. It's Tuesday. Here we are filming. Um, I should say here I am filming. Um, today I have some uh, commission orders that I need to get done. So I thought I would show you guys, which I have before, but um, we're going to do some trivets. And uh, But I wanted to show you first the paintings from last week dried. So that is the, <laughs> I'm going to call it the yellow one. Not um, thrilled. That center's kind of cool. Um, I did go back in after and do the um, like petals, which is kind of cool, but I just didn't like the how the yellow took over. Yellow is such a pain. It just really takes over everything. So this is the other one that I did last week that I did not have a video for. But this one I think came out pretty cool, actually. I like that there's more colors going on. Uh, there's some of that pink coming through the, the cloud white. So actually, after this one dried, I actually liked it better. Um, give you guys the whole view. So yeah, I thought that one was pretty cool. So I might try that one again on a bigger canvas. Um, maybe with a little different colors, but... And that was the, the lemon yellow with the neon colors and the cloud white. All right, so we're gonna get on to our trivets. Uh, these are some that I have done uh, finished and they are resin. You can see the shiny on them. So what I do with those is uh, when they're resin and I'm happy with the resin, ooh, that one's got some cool color shift in it. Uh, I take the tape off and paint the back if I need to. And then I put down a piece of cork. And the cork comes on a roll. So I just cut it out a little bit smaller than the, the size of the tile. These tiles are white tiles that I get at uh, either uh, Home Depot or Lowe's has those in a box of, I think they're 50 and they're about $23. So, uh, but I sell these for $28 each. So you're getting, it's a pretty good profit margin considering, you know, once you get all your paint and everything in there. And this is another one I did. Again, that one is resined. Uh, these are not resined yet, but these are some different colors you can see. More earth tone kind of colors. And then here's one more. So these will get resined and then the cork put on the back. All right. So that just gives you an idea. Um, I do take the tiles and tape them off. So I use, just use the blue tape and I, I like the thicker one. It only takes about five to get them taped off good. And then they're taped so they stay pretty clean as far as the paint goes. And I rub them down with 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol to make sure you get all the dust and grease and everything off of them. Make sure when you're cleaning them you have your gloves on. Because um, otherwise you will end up with actually I want to move this uh, actually, you'll end up with grease from your hands on so on the uh, trivet. You don't want that. Okay. So I'm trying to get you guys centered here and as close as I can because this is pretty cool to watch. I'm going to be doing bottom bottles and I'm also going to be doing uh, strainer pours. So I've got my, I don't know, 15 or 16 colors over here. I have a couple of them. She told me what colors she wants. She's ordered eight of them. So, um, but the rest of them were just whatever I wanted to do. So I'm going to start out with the custom ones uh, or the colors that she told me, which was uh, black, white, silver, and red. Well, okay. I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use silver or gray, or I might use both. So I've got them all out here. Um, 
and I'll tell you as I'm going which one is which. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my, this is a sink strainer. I get it at Walmart. This one's a little different from other sink strainers because it has the, the holes in, this, in the middle, which is the same, but they're kind of bigger holes. But it has these uh, round, rounded ones, rounded squares in the, in the side of it. So uh, the other strainer pores that I've seen are have slits. So it makes a different design than what I get with these. Okay, you guys are in the frame. Hopefully you can see. Okay, so we're going to start with, I just uh, mixed up some, oh, why can't I think of the name? I can't ever when I want to. Uh, Dollar Rowney Crimson. Usually I use Arteza Crimson, but I didn't get it ordered yet, and I wanted to. I wanted a crimson, so I'm going to go ahead with that one. And I don't think I'm going to put down a base coat. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I'm going to start off with no base coat. So you're just going to put it in. You can go around if you want or you can just make a puddle. Uh, I just like to do a puddle because then when you add the other colors it pushes them out. Okay and then I have uh, Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic. Uh, let's go with some gray. This is Artist Loft Gray, just gray. Nothing special. I want this to have, uh, her kitchen is black, is mostly black and white. So I just want pops of red. I'll go ahead and put some white over that gray. don't see this coming out yet. Oh, here it comes. Sometimes you just have to add that third or fourth color and then it'll start coming out. Um, your first round of petals that come out are probably going to run off the edges. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, and I've got a little bit, you can tell it's running to this side. So all I do is turn it if you're a little bit off center. Sometimes the cups are off center, sometimes the table's off center, so um, if you just do that, then it'll run. It'll run back the other way. I'm going to help it along a little bit because I don't have all day to wait. And it's okay if your petals aren't the same colors on both sides and it's a, it really is kind of an abstract flower. So it's okay. So you can see it is starting to run out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some black, I think, to the corners, and maybe around the edges just to help it flow a little bit better. These tiles are really slippery, so I don't, uh, I try to mix my paints on the, a little bit on the thicker side. Most of my paint that's in the bottles is on the thicker side. I do a lot of trivets and coasters, so I just mix it that way. I figure if I need to thin it out, I can thin it out later. Or if I want to add silicone, because I do not have silicone in any of my paints. Whoops. You don't want to do that. Okay. Um, we've got, let me see. I want to add some more black. Still wanting to run off that 
edge. So I'm going to give it another turn. Just a 180. I should have some pretty uh, drippings here today too that I can dip some cabochons when I'm done. Hopefully you guys can't hear that noise that's going on out back. They're, uh, the next door neighbors are digging a pool. So we're getting some, I don't know, it's been noise all day long. I'm going to add just a little bit of silver. I'm going to add a little bit more white because I'm liking that white in there. Now what, I, what your last colors are that you put in is going to be your middle. So, because when you pick up the strainer and those holes are down there, that's what's going to be left. torch ready, get my little center twirl ready. Okay, this is ready to come off, so I'm just going to, I'm going to pull up and I'm going to slide my hand under. I just stuck my finger in that. Okay, pull up, hand under real quick. And see how cool that is that the, the center pops like that? So it's pretty good like it is. Um, I'm going to tilt just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give it a torch just to get the bubbles out. Don't have any uh, silicone again, so I'm not going to get any um, no cells. And that's what I like with these is no cells. I just like them plain. Gonna make sure all my edges are covered. These take about two days to dry, and then same with a painting. You want to let them cure for um, two to three weeks, just to make sure all the chemicals leave. There's a lot of chemicals in the flow troll and everything, so you want to make sure those get out. Um. And sometimes I twirl the center, but I'm kind of liking what the center's doing right now, so I'm just going to leave that one alone. Let me get it put away. When you put them uh, wherever you're going to dry them, you need to make sure that there's uh, a cup, and preferably a cup that is level. I save all my cups that I done you know mixing paint in and that way I can double use them so I'm just going to put this in my drying rack and then we can get on to the next one so that's a pretty cool red and red and black and gray a little touch of silver in there which will come through cool with the uh, the metallic in it. it will look really nice Make sure you store them level. Usually when I'm doing these, I have three or four of them going at one time. And so I, uh, you know, catch the drips as they're coming off. Because you don't want to just keep letting them drip because that will, um, it'll keep pulling the flower down. So every so often I need to, I'm going to need to go over and, and check the drips on those. Okay, here is number two. And the second one was a, and usually when I'm doing uh, an order for somebody, I usually do two of each of the colors that they've requested. That way they feel like they have a choice if they don't really care for the one design. And that always gives me a backup too. Okay, so now we're going to do blues. I'm going to use a little bit of Naples yellow. And I'm going to do light blue and some phthalo blue. Or do I want to do the Prussian blue? 
Mm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to use the phthalo blue. And I'm going to use white. With the, um, oh, but the Prussian blue has that pretty. I think I'm going to use the Prussian blue. My Prussian blue has iridescent medium in it. Um, it's artist loft iridescent medium, so it makes, it's really pretty when, when you're finished. Okay, I'm just going to use those four colors because she specifically asked for blues. I like the little pop of the Naples yellow in there. I might put a touch of the blue flash, but the blue flash tends to go aqua on me. So I think I'll save the aquas for later. All right, and I think I'm going to do a bottle bottom this time. So I've just got my little cut off from the bottom of a bottle. Uh, it's got the five petals. It was probably a Sprite bottle uh, or an orange, something like that, a soda bottle. I think they tend to have the five petals. I do have a couple hint bottles here that you can get at uh, Target. And they have the, um, they have seven petals. So, but I haven't gotten those cut up yet. All right, let's start with, I'm gonna start with white because I want the edges to be white. So you're just pouring down on this one, pretty simple. That was the Artist Loft Light Blue. This is the Prussian Blue, which I think I started off with golden, but I don't think it's golden anymore. I think I've been getting it, um, the Artist Loft, the level two, the professional, or even maybe the three um, of the Prussian Blue. That's where you find the Prussian Blue. some white. I'm liking that combination so let's see light blue let's get some more Naples in there Prussian blue is just gorgeous when it dries because it's got that iridescent medium in there. And then when you resin it, very pretty. Okay, let's move this a little bit. Okay, again, whatever your last color is, is what you're going to have in the center. So keep that in mind. I think I'm going to go around these edges with some white. Just hit my corners. That way you don't have to do as much stretching. You don't have to do much stretching anyway on these because they're four by fours, so. And I do have some, uh, some larger tiles that I do that are uh, six by 12. Just wanted a little bit of that yellow in the center. I might even put dots in the center. Very pretty. I like those colors a lot. I think her mother-in-law will be very happy with that. Let's turn that, ooh, turn that again. That wasn't good. Be very careful when you're turning these. They are slippery. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of white in here because that is not dripping off the edge. 
see, is it that way? Yeah, it's that way all the way around. You gotta really pay attention to your edges on these. Okay, let's take that off, out of the way. Let's let it drip back into the middle a little bit. I'm gonna pull it in. Make sure you wipe your skewer. I'm just going to tilt that a little bit. A swirl. Got a little too close there. I'm just going to pull in from in between the petals, pull that in, flip my skewer over, and give it a little twirl. Okay, there is number two. like those colors together. Okay, I'm going to go set this one in there and I am going to catch the drips on that other one really quick. I think I'm going to take this cup with me. Very carefully. another thing if your paints are a little bit on the thicker side uh, you're not going to get a whole whole lot of dripping so every 
every single one of these is unique and different. You don't get the same, even if you use the same colors, you don't get the same design. So, you know, I always tell people, I can do the same colors for you, but it will turn out different because it does every time. That's why I kind of like to just sell what I have already. But uh, in this case, because she wanted to order so many. And she's not super picky, which is nice. Okay. Where are we at on time? Okay, I think that's probably gonna have to be it. Um, just because I'm running out of time on my phone. I only have a half hour. For some reason it shuts off after a half hour. I gotta see if I can fix that. So that will be it for today. Um, I'll post some pictures of some of the other ones because I'm gonna do two more when I turn the camera off. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something today. Um, try to make some trivets. They're really cool. People love them. And uh, I will see you next Tuesday. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm up to 170 subscribers now, so we're getting up there. Hopefully we can do a giveaway here pretty soon. Um, yep, that's it. So I will see you guys next Tuesday. Have a good week. Bye.